Hey guys, what's up? Rosie here. So I'm just sitting here, just recording videos and stuff, trying to get some stuff on cue. And I was thinking of some of my favorite holiday memories. Some of my favorite times growing up has always been the holidays. I would come home from school because as a kid, we didn't get the whole week of Thanksgiving out. We just got Thursday and Friday. So like on a Tuesday, I would come home and walk through the door and there's my mom in the kitchen cooking up sweet potato pies and German chocolate cake. And that would be the thing that she would cook on a Tuesday. On Wednesday, she'd start on the, on the other foods. She'd start her macaroni and cheese and her dressing and her turkey. She would um, like wash the turkey and get out the giblet bag and she'd season it up and she'd do what she called jugging. She would jug a, an onion and some celery in the turkey and she'd season it overnight. And the next day she would get up the next morning and she would cook that turkey on its belly so that it was nice and tender and juicy. And when the turkey was ready, she would tear it off the bone so there was no carving. The meat would be just that tender and juicy. And the house would smell like Thanksgiving for the next week or so. And we would have food literally for the next week because my mom when she cooks holiday meals, she always cooked as if she were cooking for an army. And usually it would be like just me, my mom, her husband, and just a few people who came over for the holiday to eat with us. And we'd still have enough left over for the next three, four days. And at Christmas time, especially when I got a job, one of my favorite things to do is to go Christmas shopping and I love buying things for other people and putting it in a Christmas bag because I can't wrap for, for crud I cannot wrap presents but I love putting stuff in a Christmas box or or attempt to wrap it and um, just giving it to them I don't necessarily have to get anything back but who doesn't like getting a present, you know? Who doesn't like getting some treats? And one of the things that I started when I got a job was to buy Christmas presents for myself. And the reason I did that was because as much as I loved what people got for me, or as much as I appreciated it, I usually didn't get those things that I really secretly wanted, so I would buy for myself. And I still do that to this day if I can. Um, one of my favorite Christmas memories is when I was uh, seven years old. I lived with my aunt. My mom and I, we lived with my aunt, my oldest aunt, which is her oldest sister, and um, my three cousins. And I was the first person up Christmas morning. So I snuck downstairs, rubbing my eyes as a seven-year-old would do. And I looked in the living room and the living room was just full of toys. There were bikes and skates and clothes and shoes and just everything that a kid could want, that four kids could want. And I yelled upstairs, our toys, our toys. And the next thing you, knew, you hear is thundering downstairs. My cousins came thundering down the stairs sounding like a herd of elephants and <laughs> they were excited one of my least favorite memories is when I was eight years old my co my cousin who's a year older than me told me that Santa did not exist he told me and his two sisters this and we didn't believe him he, he said Santa Claus was dead and we told him that we did not believe him and he kept saying, you know, insisting, Santa Claus did, you know. And so we were like, well, how do you know? So he went to the closet that was um, beneath the stairs. And he opened it up. And there was all of our Christmas toys. There were all of our Christmas toys just piled up 
waiting for us to see them on Christmas morning and they were hidden in the closet. Needless to say, that Christmas, even though I got everything I wanted, everything that I could possibly want, everything that I told my mom that I wanted Santa to know that I wanted, I was not excited that year. I didn't smile. I had the cutest clothes. I had toys that my cousins wished they could have because I was an only child. And I was still just miserable that year. And, uh, you know, every year from then on, is it was just like Christmas was another day for me. It just didn't feel like Christmas as a kid. But one of the favorite things that my aunt used to do is she would play old-timey Christmas songs, you know. Um, Christmas Comes But Once a Year by, um, I think it was, his name was Charles Brown or Charlie Brown. And... Uh, to this day, I love that song. Christmas just is not Christmas without hearing that song. And uh, Please Come Home for Christmas, I think by the same person. And This Christmas by Donny Hathaway. I have to listen to those songs every year in Silent Night by The Temptations. Those songs are a must on my Christmas must listen to list. And my mom's cooking as always has always been special to me right now she's not able to do those things because she's bed bound and I'm hoping that it won't be forever I'm hoping that her mind and her body will heal and she'll be able to do those things again you know a Christian has to have that kind of faith so you know and that kind of hope so I'm just hoping I'm just hoping and I guess there's nothing wrong with that. So, um, as I grew older, Christmas became special to me again. I still love to see Christmas decorations and twinkling lights and having the Christmas tree go up is still very special to me. I just love it. And, you know, and it, that came with having kids. More than getting a Christmas present for myself, I, I get excited about being able to buy for my kids and make them happy. Even though they're teenagers now, they're still my babies and I will do anything in the world for them if I can. And so Christmas is um, a favorite for me again because I get to make them happy. And so do I believe in Santa? Yeah, I believe that Santa is the spirit of Christmas. I believe that that Santa is the joy of Christmas. I believe that Santa is the, the wonder and the magic of Christmas and the anticipation and, and everything that Christmas is to a child, to a sweet, innocent child. That's what Santa is and that's what I believe in. So yeah, I believe in Santa. And I watch um, Norad every year to, to watch Santa go around the world, bringing happy, happiness and um, joy to the world. And uh, do I believe in Jesus? Absolutely. I'm a Christian. So, yeah, I believe in all of that. And there's nothing wrong with it. Am I a weirdo for it? I don't care if I am I really don't I don't care if I am because it's what makes me me and with that at those are um, some of my favorite holiday memories if I can think of anything else that has to do with the holidays I'm definitely gonna record it and upload it if I can when I can but until then, I hope to see you guys on the next upload. Love you lots. Bye for now.